hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm craving yam porridge or pottage um whatever it's called so let's make lunch together So we're going to be using scent leaf for this recipe and yeah i have a scent, scent leaf behind my house so i'm just going to plug a few about seven or eight pieces of scent leaves and yeah scent leaves are actually very healthy so after that um, this is the yam i'm just going to peel my yam wash them i'll also be adding some sweet potato these are the sweet potato i'll peel them and add them just to add some little bit of sweetness to it now guys i'm done peeling and chopping my yam and sweet potato i'll wash them and set aside while we prep for cooking so guys i have some leftover grilled fish from last night so i'm just going to be adding some of it to the yam porridge um this is my scent leaf this is what it's looking like i'm just going to wash them and um, i will chop them into piece also i'm going to blend some crayfish using the this hand blender um once i'm done blending that i'll also set it aside so the crayfish gives it a more ah uh, extra taste right so porridge is a very easy meal to cook which can get which can be ready in less than 30 minutes i also have some tomato mix i'm just going to add this tomato paste and mix it a bit and this is the consistency i'm going for and yeah we'll start off by adding our oil and we're using palm oil My palm oil has heated up, so I'm just going to throw in my onions, my chopped onion, allow it to um, saute for a few seconds before adding my tomato mix, which is what I have here. I'm going to stir this and fry continuously until my tomato has properly fried to my preference. Our tomato has fried to my preference. I'm just going to add my blended crayfish, which is this, and I will stir this properly, seasoning the sauce before adding the yam into the pot. So now I'm going to be seasoning with some seasoning cube and some salt as well. If you have meat stock at, at home, you can always add your meat stock. So I added a little bit of meat stock to my um, to my sauce. So yeah, I'm also going to add some of this grilled fish, which I talked about earlier on. I'll throw them in. Like guys, this is our supper yam potage, yam slash potato potage. Let me call that because we have some potato in them. So I'm just going to cover it and let it boil. And now it's boiling. I will then add my yam to it. So now this sauce has all the seasonings, salt, crayfish, everything. So I'm going to add my yam and my potato, my sweet potato, guys. I'm actually using sweet potato and I used about three sweet potato for this. I didn't use so much. So yeah, I'm just going to add that to the pot it cover it and let it cook properly guys our uh, yam porridge is already ready even before it has finished cooking yam porridge is one of the most easiest meal to make you can make it um and it can be made within a time frame of 30 minutes or 45 minutes max so yeah and not so much serrera is required for your yam porridge so let's get our yam porridge ready guys so i'll just cover this and let it cook properly you can add some more water if you're the kind of person who likes the yam porridge water i know a lot of people like it inclusive of myself i also like it as well so um, i added a lot more water so just so i could get the yam porridge water as well So now guys, I'm checking if our yam porridge is ready and if the yam is soft enough for me to add my scent leaf and yes, the yam is soft enough. You can cut through the yam 
or you can just use a fork like what I'm doing now to see if the yam is properly cooked inside. So I've stirred this and I'm going to be adding my scent leaf now. This is the quantity of scent leaf after chopping which I'm going to be adding. If you have some ugu, you can also add to it. But because um, this was a quick lunch which I wanted to have because I was hungry. So I didn't actually need an extra ugu for it. But you can always add some ugu to yours if you want. So I'm just going to cover this and let it cook for a bit. And yeah, our yam porridge is ready guys. This is what it's looking like. So I'm just going to break a little bit some of the yams. Just to give me that thick yam um, um, sauce, which I like, <laughs> the yam water. So once I do that, I'm just going to stir it properly, stir it properly. And yeah, I will let it rest before I serve and enjoy. Guys, thank you for making lunch with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family. Until I see you in my next one, guys. Bye.